Hello Santosh here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will learn more practical uses of Jolt like how to convert the date format, how to use substring method, how to use a split method, how to use concatenate method, concat method. Right. Suppose uh, you have an input date in this format like year, month and days and then timestamp, right time. So, and you want to convert, you need only like a year, month and day and suppose sometimes if you need only years and month only or day only and also if you want to convert like year, month and day to days, uh, month and year in this format like. So, uh, how we can achieve like. Using Jolt, how we can uh, write the specification and you are able to convert. So, this is very interesting uh, videos. So, let's try to uh, apply the Jolt so that we can achieve uh, this, right? So, here, what you can see that I have already written this input, right? So, here we can see that in this date time format is in this format year month and days and then time right and we need output like this so let's start the writing the specification specifying the operation modify overwrite beta and then specification yes. and here simply uh, you can Yes, this so so first of all we are going to apply the uh, substring method so that we can get first 10 character in the order to get the uh, date portion only in this portion only so let's try to apply how we can write the uh, this method substring method to get the first 10 character right so we can apply here Simply you have to call this variable, okay, and then let's try. No, also you have to specify the position 0 to 10. Yes, now we can see that we are uh, in this uh, string, we are able to get only this 10 character, right? Means we have a year, month, and days now. try to use a split method how we can use a split so after splitting we are going to assign a different variable split date okay so uh, write the split method here split and then we have to pass the first we are going to split by using dash because we can see here uh, separator is dash right so by use, using this we can split this string easily and then we have simply have to pass this one date time yeah and then let's try yeah so now we are able to split and in this array we can see uh, three elements now is there one is in zero position we can see year and one position uh, month and Two position is it is right <coughs> so now suppose uh, now uh, we need only days or uh, year or month so how we can uh, get only this element one element in this right? so then let's try to write another suppose we need only years so then we can simply use here uh, 
one split it and you can just pass zero position so it will return the zero position right so here you, it will return the year only yeah you can see right and similarly uh, if you need month means we have to pass the position one So you can pass another index like two. Yeah, now let's try. <coughs> oh, I did some mistake, right? okay so uh, now you are able to separate to year month and why so suppose if you are uh, we you need to change the date format to year month day to day month and then year so how we can achieve this so by using concat method we can achieve this right so let's uh, try to apply a concat method as well for concatenation right so suppose we need the format in this way td yy sorry mn yyy so here just we have to apply the concrete method similarly first we have to pass here day okay then we have to use another separator like we can use dash again here to separate and then another one you have to another means you have to use month here okay then another separator and then again here and let's try so now we can see that uh, previous uh, format was in this format year, month, and days. And now we are able to convert days, year, month, and year, right? Okay. So now you are able to fully convert the uh, date format. We uh, we can see that how we can apply the subtracting method, right? How we can apply the split matter, how can you apply the concat method for concatenation, right? So suppose no longer usage of this date time so let's remove this one in previous uh, video i have already explained about how you can remove if you want to remove any elements right so let's try to do another operation here operation remove specification here just we have to pass this key and assign to blank it will be removed okay let's try to transform you can see that now a split date element is not there p is not there right so guys now we can see that how easily we are able to convert the date format from one format to another format and how we can easily up use the uh, method like substring a split and concatenation method right hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching thank you